What are we talking about? What are we what? talking about? What we discussing? What we discussing? What is we doing a day? Getting that money? Getting that money? What are we talking about? What is up guys, it's MCD here of White Collar Rhymes, welcome back to the channel. Last episode, I began my K-pop journey by reacting to Stray Kids for the first ever time, and it blew me the f and it blew me away. And the reaction to that video has been unbelievable, you guys have been down in the comments, leaving your thoughts and giving me so much background information and suggestions for other songs I should listen to, and my phone was lighting up like a Christmas tree. You guys are nuts. In a good way never change so thank you so so much for that it's been really really eye-opening so i think what i'm going to do today is i'm going to react to s class which was suggested by angie graham in the comments and then what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to start a series where i start at the very very beginning of their journey you guys are just giving me so much information to take in and it's all super interesting it seems like there's a lot of lore to these guys and i really want to get to know them and i'm excited to start my k-pop journey and i feel Think it'll be really fun to experience the stray kids experience with you guys from the very start let me know down in the comments if you think that's something you would like to see and obviously hit that like and subscribe button because it really helps us out so without further ado let's get into it okay let's see what s class has to offer nice little whistle Love a good whistle. Whoa, that transition was wild. How many... Hang on, I need to go back. How many spotlights? Look at all those spotlights. That is mental. That is crazy. That would have taken some serious coordination. These guys do not hold back with production value. That much is certain. What? Some of these effects are fucking crazy, like... The CGI and stuff involved is nutty, like, their videographer or editor, seriously talented, you know, and the sound is just so impressive, and I know you guys said in the comments they produced themselves, which makes this even more impressive, you know, it, it really, really is excellent. <laughs> Crazy choreography again. Had a kind of like house vibe then. I really dug that. Just really. Mm, 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 feel to it. Very minimalist. Just let the rhythm do the talking. And again, like the choreography is just insane. I mean, I'm not a dancer. As I said in the last video, I can't dance at all. But I grew up liking Michael Jackson and stuff like that. So I appreciate how much choreography goes into things like this. And it might be the most impressive choreography I have seen since michael jackson back in the 90s or 80s when he was at his peak really really phenomenal stuff <laughs> the turntable what the transitions are mental switch to a completely different genre now they're doing hip-hop and it was just like like that just like not like it's nothing just at the drop of a hat we're just gonna switch genres completely amazing i really like the fact all the guys they have their own look as well they're all styled differently i mean there's quite a few of them so bear with me it's gonna take me a little while to get to know each individual member but we'll get there <laughs> Got some like 90s West Coast vibes now. Like 
and now it's suddenly a cinematic car chase from a movie. This is fucking insane. Best of the best on first class. I'm up above the world, so high I'll be the shining thing. And I can wonder how much my light is so bright. Cutie, that's it. Pure F, 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 That's me. See, I feel like these breakdowns are crafted to let the choreography shine through. It's like the beat becomes stripped back and just hip hop heavy, and it's just to throw out those dance moves. And it looks fucking sick. It's really, really impressive. I can't state that enough. <laughs> This is like a, a fucking triple A budget Hollywood movie. What is happening here? What the fuck? That is insane. Again with a catchy hook. Yeah, I got I got fucking goosebumps. That doesn't happen often. And I think that is it. Okay, so my thoughts on that. Mate, what? That was... That was even more fucking mind-blowing than the first song I watched. That was even more extreme than La 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 La, in my opinion. And for good reasons, you know? It was... It was... I'm gonna need a minute to digest what I've just watched, really, I think. Two hours later. So one of the first things I really like about these guys is, you know, there's a lot of them, but it feels like as individuals, they all contribute to the group as like a whole and they all do their own thing and they work as a team and pull together as a team. It's not about one person. There's not like a lead as it were or anyone that stands out any more than anyone else, which I think is really cool because even the bands and groups I like, usually there's one or two members that you remember more than the others or who are more front and centre than the others. For example, Destiny's Child and... You know, everyone remembers Beyonce, but not many people really remember Kelly or Michelle, do they? But I don't get that with these guys. They're all there and they're all present and they're all pulling together and contributing. And I think that's really fucking cool. Obviously, I love the different genres again that they incorporated. There was hip hop in there. I had some 90s West Coast hip hop. There was house that allowed the dance moves to really shine in that choreography. There was a bridge with this really lovely, soft, catchy pop melody going on. And I'm sorry, but the West just isn't making music this creative and interesting. I'm sorry, they're just not. There are some great pop musicians from the West. You know, I, I do like a lot of them, but they are nowhere near as creative as these guys. These guys are on another level entirely. The cinematography is off the fucking chain. Like, it felt like watching a Michael Bay movie, but no joke, it was way better than a Michael Bay movie. Like, the cinematography was nicer the effects were cool it was crazy there was a giant octopus there was a random british beef eater on a horse at one point they were on this crazy car chase and there was shit flying around everywhere and it looked wicked that's another thing to note actually they're all really good actors as well so they're not just singers and dancers and producers they're actually <laughs> actors is there anything these guys can't do i was really impressed by that like sonically it sounded amazing again it sounded brilliant it was produced so well you know this is crazy guys i'm so glad that i found something interesting to do with my time you know i'm quite a boring man
And again, it makes me more excited to start this journey. You know, I'm going to go right back to the beginning from where it all began and with you guys hopefully tagging along to guide me on my journey who's excited about my k-pop journey me <laughs> yeah boy thank you so much for giving me these suggestions in the comments and um all your thoughts and ideas and i'm definitely going to follow up on this with the series from the beginning I've, I've really enjoyed that. It was amazing. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already for more content. And also don't forget, I am a musician myself, as are my colleagues who've done a video on TXT, which you might want to go and check out. If you find yourself at a loose end and want to listen to what we're up to, then please feel free to check out our music on our channel. And we would really appreciate that. But until next time, cheers, guys. Peace.